Okay, so let's have a look at the accounts that we need when we do a revaluation. So you're going to need your land and buildings. You're going to need your cumulative depreciation. You're going to need your disposal of land. <clears throat> and you're going to need your disposal of buildings. You're also going to need your revaluation reserve. And then you're going to need your revenue reserve. So your revaluation reserve is when you revalue your assets that you're going to put the revalued figure and the depreciation into your revaluation reserve. And then when we sell that asset, then it's going to go across to your revenue reserve. So it's just a place to hold this increase until we actually sell it because it's just a valuation. We don't actually have that money yet until we actually sell the asset. So for land and buildings, so your land and buildings is an asset account, it's something that we have. So to increase it goes on the debit side. So you're always going to have your balance brought down from the previous period. Okay, and sometimes you have to calculate that uh, land and buildings are be given to the question. And what we have here then, if we dispose of some, we're going to put it in on the credit side. Why? Because to decrease an asset, you stick it on the credit side. And if we buy something, so that'll be your bank, we're going to put it on the debit side. So it's going to increase your asset or increase your land and buildings. So you want to increase your land and buildings, it goes on the debit side. If you want to decrease, it goes on the credit side, for example, your disposal. And then you'll have your balance carried on to the next page. And then you just do your nice little double and single lines, nice and tidy. And then you bring this down then to the next one. That's your land and buildings. Your land and buildings is an asset account. To increase your assets, it goes on the debit side. Your balance is always brought forward. So that's brought forward from the previous month. If you buy anything, to increase your assets, it goes on the debit side. To decrease like a disposal, it goes on the credit side. Now with this disposal, let's say for example we got rid of land. So your double entry credit in your land and buildings, and then you're going to debit your disposal. And that's going to be land and buildings with the same amount. So these two are going to be the same figures. Okay, and we're going to use the disposal account to find out whether you made a profit or loss. If it's buildings then that we got rid of. Then the same thing, credit, your land and buildings to reduce it. And then you're going to debit your land and buildings account with the same amount. Okay. Your cumulative depreciation then, so your balance, so your cumulative depreciation is kind of, it's an asset with a credit balance. So these two, so you know in your balance sheet, It'll be land and buildings take away your cumulative depreciation. So you want to figure out how much your cumulative depreciation is to put that into the balance sheet. So your balance carried on is going to go on the credit side. Okay. So for example, if you dispose of anything, well then you need to take that cumulative depreciation out of our cumulative depreciation account. So let's say, for example, we dispose land. We need to reduce our cumulative depreciation. With that amount so you're going to debit your cumulative depreciation to reduce it and then you're going to credit then your land and buildings account with the same figure so these two figures then are going to be the same and what happens then you need to include your profit and loss for this year okay so that needs to go in there so that's going to be your calculation that you've done as part of your table. But also, if you revalue something, then it needs to go into the revaluation reserve. So if you revalue something, it needs to go in here as well. So your accumulated depreciation, and these two then will be the same figures. Now a figure that I've left out up here is if you revalue an asset. So if you revalue an asset, so it tells you we revalued the assets to whatever, and the difference between what's on the debit and credit side 
that figure here will also go into your land and buildings or into your revaluation reserve. So land and buildings. So these two figures will be the same. Okay. <clears throat> so your accumulated depreciation account, you'll have your balance brought forward, goes on the credit side all the time. Your balance for this year is going to increase your accumulated depreciation, so you're going to stick it on the credit side. Your land and buildings, then, if we sell something, the accumulated depreciation for that land and buildings needs to go in here. So you need to reduce your accumulated depreciation account, increase your disposal account. So you're going to debit your accumulated depreciation, credit your disposal. And then if you <clears throat> revalue something, so in our assets over here, in our land and buildings, if we revalue our land and buildings, the increase or the revalue figure, you want to debit your land and buildings because it's increased it and you're going to credit your revaluation reserve and you also need to take the depreciation belonging to that land and buildings from your assets from your cumulative depreciation to your revaluation reserve because the new revaluation figure won't have any depreciation yet, so your account needs to be at zero so that's your land and buildings account your revenue account so the balance I need to include a brought down figure because it's always going to come down from that side. It's always going to come down from the debit side. So just tidy this up a little bit. So your balance carry down and it's going to be brought down to the next period. So your disposal of land, whatever money you get for it, it's going to go into your bank. So if you think of the double entry for the bank, the bank is an asset, so that's going to be increasing. So you're going to debit your bank and you're going to credit your disposal account. And then if you make a, a loss, it's on the credit side. And if you make a profit, it's on the debit side. Now remember, you don't depreciate land. So land is not depreciated. That's why we're not bringing over the figure from our accumulated depreciation. Okay, then disposal then, your bank also goes in here on the credit side, so just like it was in disposal of land. And then if it's a profit, it's a loss, it's on the credit side. And if it's a profit, the balance, if it's a profit, goes on the debit side. That's your account so far. So land and buildings, and then this will continue down the next year. So you see your balance here. This balance is brought down here. If you dispose of anything, it goes on the credit side. If you buy anything, it goes on the debit side. Accumulated depreciation then. So down here is going to be a balance just like this here. So this year's depreciation will go on the credit side. If you revalue anything, then it goes on the credit side and debit side and accumulated depreciation credit side and revaluation reserve if you dispose of anything credit your accumulated depreciation to reduce it debit your land and billions to help you find out if you had a profit or loss the last thing then is the revenue <clears throat> so this revaluation reserve is just an account to place the revaluation because it's going to be left you need to account of some place we didn't physically get the money for it and it doesn't go to the revenue reserve until we actually sell it so for example if we sell the land what you're going to do, the revaluation amount goes into revaluation reserve. So you're going to credit, you're going to debit your revaluation reserve, and then you're going to credit your revenue reserve. Why? Because that's your income. So we know income is money we get, and it goes on the credit side. And that's your accounts done. Okay, so it's the same thing. Down along, you're, you're doing the same process down along. Nothing is changing once you get the process the front, first time. That's it, you have the process. All right, so any questions then, just send them on to me.